Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCV News Break for Tuesday, October 8th. Officials in Sacramento say Santa Clarita residents should have to foot the bill themselves to get the salt out of our local wastewater. The local sanitation district submitted a test claim to the state asking, since the state is mandating the cleanup, shouldn't the state have to pay for it? The Commission on State Mandates hasn't yet ruled, but its staff is saying Santa Clarita residents will have to pay for the treatment themselves, even if it costs more than $250 million. The sanitation district was fined by the state's Regional Water Quality Control Board members last year in a settlement that ultimately amounted to a $225,000 fee. That fee was assessed because officials had missed the board's deadline to come up with a water treatment plan for chloride levels. Valencia resident and Castaic Lake Water Agency board member Jerry Gladback has been awarded the 2013 Outstanding Commissioner Award by the California Association of Local Agency Formation Commissions. The statewide association presents the award annually to one commissioner for his or her extraordinary service. Gladback is the chair of the Local Agency Formation Commission for the County of Los Angeles, to which he was first appointed in 2001. He's also an elected member of the Board of Directors of the Castaic Lake Water Agency, where he has served since 1985. Fifth District Supervisor Michael Antonovitz said, quote, Gladback's many years of dedicated leadership, sound judgment, and trusted guidance on vital local boundary and land use issues has earned him this distinguished award, unquote. Coming up after the break, USA Today names a local football coach one of the best in the state. Find out who it is next. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling. My relationships were affected by my addiction in ways that are almost hard to describe. I lost, I lost that trust and that, that sense of intimacy that you have with your family. Everyone says that, oh, it's just a plant, like you can't get addicted to it, but like really, it is addictive. If you're doing it all day, like every day, it's just like, that's all your life consists of is smoking weed, like then it's addictive. I think your son is, you'll never know, because it, it is hard to hide, but if you try hard enough, you can conceal it. There's no face to addiction, like your next door neighbor could be an addict and you have no idea. The people we deal with are great people. They're just making bad choices. So if we can help people make better choices, everybody wins. And I love you very, very much. Masters College student Alice Nyquist is helping musicians make positive impacts with their music under her newly formed nonprofit organization, Peace Beats. Nyquist teamed up with Circle of Hope to host a coffee house concert Saturday at the Railroad Cafe. The event featured upcoming singer-songwriters from Santa Clarita and beyond, all to raise money for breast cancer. I have known people with cancer and it's not an easy journey to go through and I just wanted to provide an opportunity for the community to come around those women and to show their support. Every year it gets bigger, better, and tastier. More than 28 teams competed for bragging rights in this year's Sheriff's Department Fun in the Sun Chili Cook-Off at Jack Bones Equestrian Center in Castaic Saturday. This is to support Special Olympics. Uh, and so last year we raised about $18,000. And this year we expect to raise twenty-five dollars to $30,000. This is the last batch, guys, so come and enjoy it. Attendees were able to purchase a $5 voting card to vote for their favorite chili, all while enjoying live music, classic cars, and aircraft displays. Basically the chili speaks for itself. Everybody's been coming. Look, our little ticket box right there. It's almost full. Kids love it. Uh, I've had many, many mothers come up and say, this is so close to my chili, which means, of course, they love it. You know, so it's a really good chili. Everybody, is, you take the first bite and you take the second one quicker. Well, he's been coaching football for decades in Santa Clarita, and now he's received national recognition. With more, here's Dave Caldwell with sports. Dave? Thanks, Ryan. Hard Indians football coach Mike Harrington has been named the state of California's best high school football coach in a poll conducted by USA Today and voted on by fans. The 25-year head coach received 85,385 votes, nearly 8,000 more than second place finisher and former Canyon coach Harry Welch. Notre Dame of Sherman Oaks skipper Kevin Rooney was third. The humble Harrington, who earlier this season secured his 250th career victory, is grateful for the honor. Well, it was, a, it was just been an honor to get nominated by USA Today, and then uh, to have all the uh, uh, friends, family, and supporters of hard football vote for me, and they all came out in, in gross and 
And uh, so it's a real honor and I appreciate all the effort that people did uh, spending hours at the computer voting for me. For a link to vote in the regional round beginning at noon Wednesday through October 18th, go to scvnews.com. Ryan, that's our look at sports. Thanks, Dave. Now for your weather. 74 degrees for the daytime high in the SCV Tuesday. Lots of sunshine today, but that's going to change come tomorrow. We're looking at 60% chance of showers Wednesday in the SCV with daytime temperatures dipping down into the 60s. Those rain clouds should clear out Wednesday night, leaving mostly sunny skies and warmer temperatures on Thursday. Those temperatures will continue to climb as we close out the work week and head into the weekend. That's all we have for tonight. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Ryan Haslam. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling.